Hi, I'm Kevin Taylor, and I'm going to introduce you to the Village Intranet. What you see here is the main intranet page. Up top, you will see a menu bar with multiple items to navigate the intranet. And just below that is where you will find the village's mission, vision, and values, stay updated with news and events, birthdays, employment opportunities, as well as more upcoming events. Now let's navigate the intranet together. On the top from the left is the intranet link. This brings you back to the home page if you see it. Under the self-service tab, there are many options. Some of the options that are of interest to everybody are my VOP for work order tickets. This is what the page looks like. This is where you go to submit a request for work to be done. Just under that is a NeoGov. This is where you will find onboarding and learn. Next in line is information technology. This is where you go to create a help desk ticket or also fill out a cell phone stipend if you have to use your phone for work purposes. And just under that is green employee. This is where you go to view your pay stubs as well as some of your benefit items. Now let's go back to the home page. I'm going to click the intranet link to get there. Next on our list is employee links. Under employee links, you will find mission vision values, Imperform, which is our employee performance management system. This is where you update your goals for the year and track how well you're doing reaching those goals. Under Imperform is our employee directory, which helps you put a face to a name. Along with that, you also get their contact information, such as their email, their mobile phone if they have one, if you need to reach them, and also their office phone. After Employee Directory, you will see the Employee Handbook. This is in electronic format and is here so that it is always available to you for reference. After the Employee Handbook is the Idea Box. The Idea Box is where you go to submit an idea that will help us better serve our community and our customers. And when you submit an idea, it goes directly to the department head of the department that the idea is submitted to, as well as directly to the village manager. And finally, at the end, there is reward and recognition. This is where you submit a fellow employee for an applause card to thank them for going above and beyond to help somebody. This is also available for public to submit for employees at the village. That is it for the employee links. Under the performance tab, you will find many links such as quick score. This is how each department keeps track of their performance. It takes you to a page that shows all your data for any performance measures you are tracking. Just under that is the BSC portal, which is a centralized location for employees to gain access to their department performance data as well. Another one of interest to all employees is a SOP, which is the strategic operating plan for the year. And that lays out how we will work towards goals for the year that we have put in place. And underneath strategic operating plan is the knowledge management portal. This is the portal where it gives a, all employees a centralized area to improve their knowledge that may also help the village improve our processes and services. Also under the performance tab are the ACE, Birdie, and other evaluations projects. These are different ways we go about working on projects, uh, long-term projects, short-term projects, and there are teams assigned to each of these. And that is it for the performance tab. Under the learning and development tab, you will find a link to training which you'll, is where you'll find information on our platform that we use for all training purposes now. Also, you might find some information regarding training that the village might think you're interested in. After that is the state of the village meetings. This is where the village manager updates 
residents and employees as far as the direction we are going and the initiatives we have. Here's a little blur right here. And after that, you will find the de Department Training and Development Plans. This is where the development plans for the fiscal year are for each department. So if you look here, you'll see it's broken down by department. And that's it for the Learning and Development tab. The next thing we're going to look at is departments. Under the Departments link, you will find the name of each department in the Village of Pinehurst, and these will take you to their pages. Let's take a look at a couple. Financial Services, notice how they have a calendar and amendments and cell phone numbers. Well, that's going to look different than, let's say, Administration and Information Technology. We do have the cell phone numbers, but everything else is customized for the department. Under the Events and Calendars tab, you will find the Employee Events Calendar, which will show you meetings for any committees as well as staff, and also any events put on by the committees, such as back in August on the 5th, we had an icebreaker snowball event for all the staff. And just under that, you'll find the meeting room reservations. This is where you can reserve anything from a conference room to the entire assembly hall for any meetings. You will also find the times available as well as the dates available. Under the Documents tab, you will find the Document Library. This gives you access to a library of documents made available to you. Under that, you are given access to Village Policies. Here you will find all of the up-to-date policies regarding the Village of Pinehurst. The Records Management tab gives you access to all the public records available to the Village of Pinehurst. And finally, you have the Senior Staff Notes. These are the notes that are taken at all of the Senior Staff Meetings dating back to 2008. Okay, that's it for the Documents tab as well as the Village of Pinehurst Internet. Have a great day.